For number 7, we are going to simplify and compile terms of this expression. We have 3x plus 2 times the bracket, 4 times the parentheses, x minus 3y, and then minus y. We have to do this inside out, and the bracket is just like the parentheses. And inside of the bracket, we have 4 in front of this parentheses. So what we have to do first is to distribute the 4 into the parentheses. And let me just draw the arrows. Everything else will stay the same for now. So let's write down 3x and then plus 2, and we still open the bracket, and we work this out. 4 times x, that's 4x, and 4 times negative 3y, that's minus 12y. And we still have this minus y right here. And we still have to look at what's inside of the bracket. We see that we have the negative 12y minus y, we can combine our terms. So let me just write this down again, the 3x plus 2, because we haven't done anything with it. And then we still open the bracket. The 4x stays the same. Negative 12y minus y, that will be negative 13y. So that's as much as we can do inside of the bracket. And then we have this 2 in front of the bracket. Once again, the bracket is just like a parentheses. So we can take the 2 and distribute it into the bracket. Now let's see what we have. 3x plus 2 times 4x, that's 8x. And then we have 2 times negative 13y, that's minus 26y. At the end, what can we do next? Well, we have 3x plus 8x. We can combine these two terms. 3x plus 8x, that will give us 11x. And then we have the minus 26y. This is as much as we can do. This is the answer. And that's answer choice C in the answer choices. That's it.